Sue, thank you so much for being here. I just, I love the book that you've written. And one of the things that you talk about in it is fear and mm -hmm. facing our fears. Um, and the fact that fear can really hold a woman back from fulfilling her God-given destiny. Mm -hmm. So talk to us a little bit about, um, in your book you say that fear comes in all shapes and sizes. What does that mean? Well, for different women, it's going to manifest differently mm -hmm. uh, because there are courageous, bold women that people would have no idea that they're dealing with anxiety mm -hmm. or insecurity because you're just looking at the outside. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's fear where you're actually afraid of something right. happening sure. or sometimes it's dread. Mm -hmm. But God has not given us a spirit of fear. Amen. That's right. That he's yeah. given us, you know, love, mm -hmm. power, a soundness of mind. Mm -hmm. And really, fear can be um, a spirit mm -hmm. that opposes the plans of God mm -hmm. for our lives. Absolutely. So when somebody feels that, has that fear, what, how would you recommend that they overcome that? I contrasted in the book by saying we replace our fear with God's faithfulness mm -hmm. because God is always faithful mm -hmm. and in scripture you'll see where when we remember the times that God has been faithful right. then it takes the focus off of ourselves mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. if we are afraid then we are magnifying the problem mm -hmm. or we're right. looking more at ourselves but we need to right. look at the life giver yeah. and mm -hmm. trust that yeah. he is sufficient Absolutely, because the Bible says perfect love casts out all fear, and the more we can focus on God's perfect love, the less fearful we are. Mm -hmm. So can you share a story with us about how you personally have dealt with fear in your life? Well, as I've faced it all of my life, but okay. most recently, mm -hmm. when you are a woman that's established. Mm -hmm. So we had been in pastoral ministry for 28 years. Wow, a lifetime. A lifetime. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we'd raised our children in Nashville and that was the only area they knew. And yet God began to prompt us that he had a major change for us. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what that change was. So one of the ways I dealt with it was I remember this journal entry before the Lord that I just said, God, I'll go anywhere you want me to go. Wow. I will do Total anything surrender. you want me to do. And within that process, it was also putting my children on the altar. Absolutely. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when we have older children and they're married and they're right. not going to move, right. and yet God may be calling us to move. Wow. So the long and short of it is right. eight weeks ago, we made a major life change. Oh my goodness. We moved from Nashville, Tennessee to Frisco, Texas, wow. the northern part of Dallas, mm -hmm. to plant a church. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so brand right. new area. Yes. Yes. That's right. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so what kind of fears do you face in, well, in that? I was getting the picture of standing on a precipice mm -hmm. with the hair, you know, in the wind and diving off of the precipice. Right. <laughs> Because when we planted a church when we first moved to Nashville, mm -hmm. and when you're young, you pack up your bags and you, sure <laughs> and you go and mm -hmm. it's an adventure, but when you're older and you've made an investment, so the fear of failure, mm -hmm. yeah. the fear of lack, mm -hmm. fearing that you're not going to have enough, maybe that you don't have what it takes sure. to do it, right. and it's trusting mm -hmm. in the faithfulness of God. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that his call is still constant in your life. Those yeah. circumstances change, but his call and his faithfulness never takes away. And you also have two children that went with you as well. The, your adopted sons from Brazil, they came with you as well they and, and did. adjusting too. So, they did. Goodness gracious, that's it's a big change. Oh, right. Yes. It's a big change. And God's in the details sometimes. He is. And I remember saying to my daughters, um, going to Texas, I want a cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. And I said that to them. I've got the cowboy boots. I want the Fantastic. cowboy hat. So there was a group of pastors in Nashville that were praying us out. Mm -hmm. And there was a woman there that had a cowboy hat on. Sweet. God spoke to her heart to take is it off her right? head and to give me her hat. Wow. And it became that physical 
symbol, mm -hmm. you know, that only I would know. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> and and that it was an encouragement not only to you, but to your daughters. Absolutely. To see how God, because I'm sure they question and, and they know that God's in control, but that's a big decision it's for their parents big. to be mm -hmm. somewhere and them somewhere and else. And you know, I think they are so excited that we are obeying God mm -hmm. and oh, answering right. His call. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to just say too, I think that it's important to mention that fear is, a, a, is so often lies that the enemy is yes. just trying to shout in our ears and make it louder than God's truth. Mm -hmm. Have you found too that just meditating on the truth of God's word and having those scriptures mm -hmm. just to keep pushing truth back in the face of those lies, have you found too that practically that has helped. That has been key. Mm -hmm. And even more than that, we've written out declarations. Mm -hmm. You know, that there okay. are scriptural declarations that we've begun to pray out loud. Mm -hmm. You know, those things that we know God has spoken from scripture. Right. And when you hear the sound of your own voice yes. in your prayer time, declaring mm -hmm. God's word, mm -hmm. a confidence, a boldness right. begins right. to rise up in your heart. Absolutely. Yeah. And you yeah. said too, I, we only have just a little bit of time left, but do it afraid. So it's yeah. not that the fear just to goes away. Oh, look, we're yeah. thinking on the same <laughs> thing. Uh -huh. Yes, we do. We need to do it afraid mm -hmm. because it's when we put our foot in the water that the water parts. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's when we go with God that he shows up. Oh, amen. Well, I'm going to do it afraid and yeah. we're overcomers in Christ. Thank you, Sue. Right. Great, great topic and wonderful, wonderful helps to all of us. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.